are going to do a service on an Oasis hydronic heating system. It's the CH50. In the kit, it entails a fuel filter, an air filter for your compressor, igniter, flame sensor, nozzle filter, o-ring, and nozzle. First thing with doing a service, you want to turn the power off on the front of the heater. Also, turn your burn switch off in case you turn the power on during the service. First thing we're going to do is remove the front panel. And make sure you just remove the perimeter screws. Drop that front cover down and we're going to remove the cover to the burn box. All of our parts are accessible from the front of the heater. Now we have that front cover off and the secondary cover off. We're going to remove the fuel block. There's a thumb screw just on the top side of the fuel block. Loosen that thumb screw and remove the fuel block. Now that we have the fuel block out, we are going to remove the burn chamber. Get yourself a nut, nut driver, 7 16 inch, and remove the nuts on the four corners of the burn tube. Once you remove the four nuts, you can remove the burn tube. And just disconnect your igniter wires. I'll set that up here. And now that you have that burn tube out of there, you can clean the inside of your water jacket. Get in there with some steel wool or some scotch bright and just kind of break up the crustacean that's built up and vacuum it out, clean it out. Then you can go back over to your burn tube and replace the igniter before reinstalling the burn tube. Pull this pin out, remove the igniter, set it aside, and we're going to take this new igniter and be careful, pull the tip straight off. You don't want to bend it. You could break the tip of the igniter. When installing the igniter, you want to put the igniter in so you can see the shape of a horseshoe. You don't want that igniter sitting on edge. You're not going to get your heater to start off. So make sure it's sideways. And when installing the pin, Face the pin downwards, go past the igniter wires, press up and find the hole on the other side. Now you're ready to reinstall your burn tube. Pull the fuel block out of the way. Find your post in there. and reinstall the nuts. Tighten down all the four corners. We're going to replace the nozzle. And that's a 5 8 wrench. Remove that nozzle and there will be a stone filter behind it. You may need to tap it out to get that filter to drop out. There it is. Replace it. And when in installing the new one, make sure that filter drops all the way down in there and seats itself. And before reinstalling the nozzle, lubricate the O-ring to prevent it from pinching. When tightening down the nozzle, 
make sure the nozzle seats itself all the way up against the fuel block and just snug it down. Now you can put the fuel block back in the burn tube. Fuel block back in, tighten that thumb screw back up. Now you have the fuel block in, you can reconnect your igniter wires. One side's male, one side is female, they only go in one way. Now we can install the new flame sensor. Flame sensor is going to have three wires coming off of it. Each one has a different connector, so they'll only be able to go in one, one way. Disconnect the spade connectors. Spin out your flame sensor. And install the new flame sensor. Don't try to over tighten it or nothing, it just needs to be finger tight in there. Reconnect your wires, color for color. And now we are done with everything inside of the burn box. We'll put the cover back on. When putting the cover back on, Make sure your sight glass is in the upper right hand corner of the burn box. That way we can see the flame through the front cover. We have the front cover on. Now we're going to change out the air filter on the compressor. There's a spring clamp here. Get yourself some pliers, press that spring, spring clamp together, wiggle the clamp off. Pull off your old filter and put the new one on. Get that spring clamp and make sure you go over the, over the nipple of the filter. That's done. Everything inside for the service is done now. We can put the front cover back on. And the last thing we're going to do is replace the fuel filter. And usually it's located in the front of the motor coach or one of the compartments prior to the heater. Now sometimes you're able to just undo these by hand. Other times you might need to use a filter wrench. When you remove the filter, notice on the bottom side of the the filter housing, there's an O-ring that needs to be replaced. Remove that O-ring and replace it with a new one that comes in the kit. Move the O-ring, slide the new one back on. And if you have diesel fuel handy, you're going to want to fill your filter before installing. This will prevent flame out. And now we've completed a five-year service kit on our Oasis CH50. Next thing we want to do, turn the power back on and turn the burn switch back on. We want to make sure that igniter's glowing in there and the heater's going to fire off.
Nice bright flame. That's what we want to see. And if your heater happens to flame out, you may have introduced air into the fuel system. You may have to reset it a couple times to get that air out of the lines. Nice, bright, intense flame. And that completes a service on the Oasis Hydronic Heating System.